Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I'm out here with Tim. This is an area that isn't really known because Tim found it like five years ago. This is an area that we found, that he found. So we're actually, if you can see that over there, that's Little Moab. So we're just south of the, the Little Moab area. If you look out over that way, I don't know if you can see, that's the south end of Utah Lake. So we're up on this hill area right here. Uh, I believe that's private property down there. And then if you go off in that direction, you'll get up toward Cedar Fort and Eagle Mountain. And so, yeah, that's just to give you an idea of where we're at. As always, I am going to go ahead and put the GPS coordinates right up here to uh, where we currently are, where we're parked, or where we're standing, one of the two. And what did Tim find out here? Well, about five years ago, Tim came out this way and noticed when we were kind of when he was down there on a different road that off this hill there were uh jaspers and some agates mostly jasper though and we together kind of searched if i remember right i think it was this hill right here we searched this one and found quite a bit of material it was mostly jasper some agates a lot of the material was you know just whatever quality but i remember you found this little piece that was purple and black mm -hmm. and it was pretty neat and we tried to find more of that and we couldn't so anyway we haven't been out here since then we've just hit other places that tend to provide more stuff but we figured why don't we come out here and check it out today and see if we can find some uh, better material than we did last time or just find a, a better spot because I think we pretty much were just that hill and went down from there. We haven't really explored any of this other area, so we're going to explore today. So we're just coming down here as we're headed back over to where we remember finding it. And we're already seeing some evidence of Jasper. So I found this little piece. Not that great, but I'm already seeing other things like this. We're getting a little bit more reds. So right now, so far, we're seeing mostly browns, but occasionally we're seeing some reds as well. What'd you find? Oh, some limestone. So you can see that a lot of the jasper around here is forming in the limestone. So this had a little void that filled in with the jasper. You can see the uh, botryoidal back on the edge. looks so awesome with that design. Oh yeah, it's got a kind of a cool design going through it. So Tim, just found this so you've got the limestone and it's got a little bit of what looks like a, kind of a yellowish orange agate more of a yellowish it's kind of neat though hello horned toad i don't <laughs> think those things are venomous no they're not apparently he wants to uh <laughs> he likes tim Ah, I think I found something pretty nice right here. Ah, uh, there's some jasper. Oh, yeah. So we got a little bit of the red. However, this is pretty low grade, as you can see. It's not very smooth. I found uh, this. But it's definitely better. Oh, look at that. Tim found a nice piece. So it's got a little bit of red through it, some other things. Yeah, it's interesting stuff out here. Tim found a piece of nice piece of jasper right here. There you go. This is much better. So you've got some red and yellows and oranges. And then you got a little pocket of crystal right there. That's more what we're trying to find. So we're coming down the hill. Because this is where we started last time. Because remember seeing that old rusted out car on the other side of the fence. Yeah, this is... I seem to remember this is where we were finding the better stuff was along this edge of the hill. So we'll search this for a bit. And then after going down that way probably for a bit, then we're going to head up that way and explore a new area. I think I may have found my first large piece of jasper. Let's see if we can't get this out. Oh, this is bigger than I thought it was. All right, I'm going to get that out and I'll come back. Okay, I pulled it out can see a bit right here, some jasper. Let's spray it off a little bit. Oh, hey, there we go. So 
we've got some red jasper and then we've got some nice agate right through there don't know how well you can see that on the camera when I get it home I'll get it cleaned off better but you can see little bits of agate and jasper poking through all over this so yeah you can see that nice jasper you got the red and yellow and orange and a little white layer of quartz but yeah this is what's getting me excited though is this side yeah that layer of agate that i can see going through it that's exciting this is a good piece definitely taking this back just a little further down the hill found another piece of jasper not as good quality probably won't keep it but i found more of it Ooh, what is that staring back at me oh my goodness oh wow okay okay look at that jasper and look at the agate going through it there we go this is what i'm trying to find <laughs> oh that's gonna be beautiful okay i'm getting excited now oh man and is that some more right there jasper and then this might be something too oh got another piece of the agate in the jasper right there oh yeah okay i'm gonna take these up and get them sprayed off for you okay got them sprayed off so you can see them a little better this one's pretty nice but this one is stunning beautiful look at that oh it's a good day okay it's coming out right around here so we are just gonna scour this area for all the pieces we can find another piece of jasper none roll down this way okay so they're all rolling down this way oh there we go another piece of jasper oh i think that's one right there too oh yeah definitely oh yeah let me show you the agate though it's stunning okay i pulled this out and sprayed it off look at that you've got the black dendrites going through the uh, jasper that's neat that could make some nice material tim said he found something nice oh look at that jasper that is some good red and then you got agate all through it oh look at that it's gonna be beautiful that's a nice piece well found oh Look at that. Looks like another good piece of jasper. Oh, and maybe even some agate in it. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, what did Tim find? Because I heard him say something looked nice. Oh, some nice red again with black. I like the black contrast. Oh, goodness. That might have some, yep, some agate in it right there. Look at that pocket, too. <laughs> hey! Been picking up little pieces here and there, and I found this. Look at that. Found, uh, Another nice little purple. pocket in it. You got a purple over there? And a red. Let's take a look at what Tim's got. Not in purple. Got some more purple. Oh yeah, just nice stuff all over. So Tim says he found a big boulder he wants to show me. Finding more stuff as I'm working my way down. All right, Tim, what's this boulder you found? Oh gosh, that is a boulder. All right, let's take a closer look at this thing. Okay, so it's like pods of jasper all through it. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, maybe even a little agate right there. Yep. Oh, gosh. 
Mm. Unfortunately, Tim, I think it's a little too big to take back. And I found that right next to it. Oh, nice piece. Coming back up the hill, and I saw that and was like, I've seen some of that grayish looking stuff. I flipped it over and look, that's kind of neat. <laughs> There's little black eyes in it. Just walking along some more, pulling out some more nice things, and then I found this one. I pulled it out and I sprayed it off, and look at that edge. I don't know how you can see that, but it's got these beautiful little drops of red through a very dark matrix. It is, it's like a bloodstone. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> this spot just keeps giving. This is the hill where we've been finding everything coming off. There's our packs up there. We went through the stuff we'd found and sorted through what we wanted to keep and then decided we're gonna try the next hill over and already started seeing some red pieces and where was it yeah I think I see something right here yep some more Jasper oh what is this oh that's beautiful Okay, yeah, that's coming back. Oops. Oh my. I think I just saw something. Right here. Thank Can you. I borrow that? Thanks. Just look at that, Tim. Oh yeah. And I think there's a big one right here. If I can get under it. <laughs> that thing that's very different oh gosh that's beautiful oh yeah dang it tim another one i have to take back yeah <laughs> oh it's nice though yeah i can't leave that here that's nice Ooh. oh that's nice it's got some good colors in it oh Oh boy, is this, this is nice too, right here. Oh, Ooh. hello, Agate, my old friend, right and here. some calcite right there. Walking along, found a little bird nest and some uh, really young eggs, eggs in it. Oh, that is so cool. It's pretty sweet. Some young little eggs. Neat, neat. So after exploring over there, up, you know, more on that hill, lower down, where we didn't find a whole lot. It was mostly lower quality Jasper, the kind of the brown. Uh, we decided to come back. So just the other side of this hill is where we found all that good stuff earlier today, just over there. And so we didn't really quite make it around to this side yet. So we decided to drive over here. See, look how convenient that is. Look, and, there's a and there's a wildfire out there that just started up like an hour ago. Unfortunate. Anyway, come around here and immediately we're already starting to find the nice stuff like we found that other time. Ooh, look at that one. Look at that nice big piece of jasper. Red, yellow, and brown. I think I see something here that looks good. Oh yeah. Look at that. Nice. We're just so spoiled for choice here. You like that one? How about that one? Or how about that one? Got a nice little Jasper spill right here. Got that one and that one and that one and that one. All kinds of pieces around here. Look at that. Some agate. Yeah. Look at the botryl chalcedony on that one. Chalcedony. Yeah. It's nice. Look at this one I just found. Look how colorful that is. Very nice. That's a keeper. Got a dark chunk right here. Sure is. Oh, look at the red in that. Okay. Yeah, that's coming home with me. We got here. Oh gosh, more good stuff. 
Now I gotta go sort through some more stuff again. Oh, that looks good too. And there, and there, everywhere. Look at that. Going crazy. I don't want to keep. I don't want to keep. I don't know what to keep. It's so good. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. It's huge. What do I do? Okay, I found some more bigger pieces, but this is blowing my mind right now. Look at this. I saw that band of red, and then look at that. You've got a red, and then inside it's just agate swirling all over the place. But, but you can see some light coming through it even. Oh gosh. This is gonna be nice. That is, that is stunning. I'm back home now, and what a day it was. We found some amazing stuff. I got everything washed off and it's over here. We're gonna take a look at it. Unfortunately, the pieces that I wanna cut are too big for me to cut at this time. And again, I've got a bunch of pieces that are gonna get cut at a later date. But for now, let's go ahead and enjoy them cleaned off. They were ab absolutely fantastic. You gotta see some of these. Let's take a look. Once again, we're using the macro lens because we're gonna try and put things right here so they're in focus. Well, I got a lot of stuff of all different sizes, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it goes well. We'll start off with a little bit of limestone here. This is just a cool piece of limestone that had all these patterns in it. Just thought it was pretty neat. This is a very interesting piece where it's kind of a gray, like a flint or chert, but then it's got these red little veins in it. It's very interesting. This one's pretty cool. This has got some little red dots in it. Once again, a piece with some red dots in it. But on this side, look at that. Look at those little swirls that are just going through it. Oh, pretty cool. This one was pretty interesting. Look at the little zigzag going through it with the red. It's almost like a little graph or something. <laughs> it's pretty neat though. This little piece had nice contrast. We've got the black and then some red going into some nice patterns there. This is that piece where I pointed out how red it was that Tim found with a little bit of agate going through it. Hopefully you can see the agate now, where you've got the nice red, some black, but then there's little bits of agate just kind of all through it. And then let's take a look at the other side. Yeah, it's a nice piece. This is a small piece that has some nice agate running through it. Red, jasper, just an interesting piece. This one's got some good agate going through it as well. Some nice colors. What was interesting in this area was all this, these little teeny red dendrites that were in the agates and jaspers. This one was just nice and colorful. This one had a really nice spot right here in the middle. Look at that, the nice combination of the uh, agate and the jasper kind of mixing. Okay, this is <laughs> this is a big piece, but I just wanted to show you that red, the red dendrites that are in these rocks. There's so many of these rocks that have those red dendrites all through it. Here's a nice piece. You've got the jasper and then right in the middle, look at that agate. It's beautiful stuff. This is that nice piece I found that I talked about so much in the video. It's got all the agate down here and the jasper along the top. <laughs> Too bad there's all this white through it that doesn't look that great. But yeah, it has a lot of agate in it. Hopefully when I cut through it into thin pieces, 
it'll let light through really nicely. This is a really nice piece where you had the, the orange and yellow and red all mixing through. This Jasper was just nice and red. Here's that piece all cleaned up that I said had the botryoidal chalcedony on it. It's actually more of an agate. Oh no, it's still a chalcedony. It doesn't really have too many layers in it. Another nice piece with agate. This is that nice piece I found that had the black dendrites through it. But look, it has red as well. So it goes from a black dendrite to a red dendrite. Very nice stuff. This was a very big piece that had just some agate on the end. So this is kind of where it was really nice. It's right here with the agate. Unique piece where it had a dark kind of blackish gray matrix that had this red in it with some agate here and there. Very neat rock, actually. I'm looking forward to actually getting it cut open. But yeah, this is the good side right here. Another piece with jasper and beautiful agate right in the middle of it. Seems to be very typical out there. The center is where it turns into agate, where the outside is mostly jasper. This was that nice piece that I pulled out of the ground the agate kind of all through it. So you've got this kind of broken up, brecciated jasper that filled in with agate. Mostly just this side. This was another nice big botryoidal chalcedony rock. It's very nice. And this piece Oh, this beautiful piece. The first one that really kind of got my heart going when I found it. Yeah, it's got agate all through it. This was that big piece on the next hill that I found that I got all excited about. Look at that. Look at how clear that is in the middle. And here it is all cleaned up. That big one I found right at the beginning, remember that? When I found this, this turned it out to be the best one by far. Look at this. And then the best side, the back side, wow. Oh, I cannot wait to cut into this thing. It's gotta be beautiful inside. Crazy stuff, isn't it? It's great. That's that's some nice stuff and it's a new location. Tim discovered it years ago, but we didn't actually discover where the good stuff was until this trip. Boy, that's amazing. What a great spot. So now that you guys know where it is, you guys just need to get out there and find some of that amazing stuff yourself. I can't wait to cut some of that stuff up and it's probably going to be amazing. And until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.